Salam should have said, Quenu Korab Kadat Sema dialogue, Sakat was political, Scorabashi, Boldros, Gam, Tadabul Molinims, and Dam Garshadek, all the Institute Monets, Elob, Demisha, Vani, Rolishia Sula, Arasam Torab organizations, and the Chartus to Aramu, Shits, and Sammy Sector, Heli Suplebis Kadat, what Elob Sada, Priority Tabis Kansas, Russian Tennis, Sasabu, Darmus, or Tassel, the Smart Twist Institute, but Misha Arasam Torab organizations, this Armand and Lepshota. The Sakatun Chartun Arasam Torab organizations, politics, poor Mirabashi, Rasil Tulabisha is the Bashek, not Mat. Ahal political vitale bashida tal sulle be bi unda sheid anu donor mo organizatsi ma tagnet mi tukam ebshi. Chonis tumre bi saubra benam sakit khabzi agun sare dasaule tis martuis institutis projectis sa jaro politikis advokati le bisada samukala kusa zuka de bis kanu vitale bashi agun sare pron nazi ta projectis asistenti Maria Mzaba kidi sa agun shubse dimo de berum kuitsi et kadi chamishi. Kudi. Resident Masaka should not rest back in shit. Quarum, Levan Nashalam is the opposition. She cut this da, his national Mozirobas who comes on a lips at Arashi Levan Nashalam is a trend dress dialogue system, Robash Towers at Magram, who are in Mirad. To Suda, so check it up in the Pirate Shadagura Catalepolis numbers, or the Shuri Samos, the Scout, Stahuti, and Mogutarat, and Michel Hopinaba numbers, or Stahuti, or Mixed Hutmati. That I was also very dressed when he saw Petar Santor of the sector, Tan Shahodraze, to Ragalone Konya, in the report to Grom Process, Massam Kalakusaka Davis, and Amisha. What was the role of the civil society and NGO sector prior to the change in the government occurred? It's actually a very good question. It's a question that every single international donor right now in Georgia is asking. I said, this is a key part of my first thoughts. Well, I said, the church organization, I the church of the Nari, or Melis, or the Sakatos. In the last, since we've been running this project for the last two years, we've been trying to find ways where the civil society sector and, and the government can work a little closer together. We witness now with this new government, there's an incredible window of opportunity to work with the new government. They've actually reached out to the civil society sector. And so now we're trying to figure out what, what's the best way the civil society sector can try to assist the government in its current uh, environment that we're in. <laughs> Who should we consider as a civil society and how civil society can become a, such a power that could be accounted? You, you, you again, I'm not, I'm not patronizing you, but really it's a very, very good issue. And this is what we were discussing now in Tbilisi and also here in Batumi. Mm -hmm. contrary, contrary to proper belief, Georgia actually has a very, very strong society sector. I'll give you two examples. One is this social network that you have here where you help one another and your family. And the second one is that you have the students and the general public who stood up for social justice just about a few weeks ago. The second part of your question is the NGO sector. And that's a challenge that we're facing. Do the NGOs 
represent or work on the ideas that matter to the general public. Mushops, which have a servitor, real or dares and torbus sectori, in Matula Vitram, and let's second this material, Russia de Cabin to the channel, and she had worked up Tam Shedekabs or it's out quite Vinchard Vinda de Shedekrat, Sikachan Quax, Esikotor Arams Arasam Torbu, Bisakturi Mushobi Shedek. What's your opinion? Does the NGO sector work in the right direction and the results that we have today in this change? Uh, is it impact? It was the impact of the uh, NGO sector or? how it came. Well, let's, let's, let's just talk with facts for one second. If we look at every single survey that was mm -hmm. conducted, a public perception survey, the issue of the prisoners was ne never came up as, a, as an interest of the general public. In fact, the number one concern from that every single survey indicated was the general public was interested in unemployment, followed by health, education, and youth. If you take now the NGOs and all the grants that were awarded, and you compare them to the public perception surveys, there's obviously a big disconnect between what the NGOs are working on and what the general public would like to see. So to answer your question very shortly, yeah. the NGO community to a large extent does not speak or represent the general public's views too well. Ratom vera kerkhub dina mes usta desman tada sev dami torot khatrot sa moni doma isash kara tavi nakat etsal sakhat es shedegi arasam torob organizatsiya biskaer tiene ba matta mati ertu bluvi matkhonat kadi kiri kampaniya eshin kekhba rozamet moit khoves kon kahar protesis kon gatuli chule ba birat shevi das archonu kam deblo bashi asev moit khoves mast kiri da es absolut kasa kasa gebi gatos asukar gebi sisim tamdom khoy principshi moqti nes mat ragat kon gatuli problemi sev biskaer tiene ba konsolidatsiya da utkhoves asukar debas es eshin kekhba ti to pirone bas kekhbo da تا کنسل دیده بود می دانست تا وقتی پروتستی در متخونه به خلوص فلوبا سر ملت زیل بولی گفتار منگریشی که اتیا ماشین و هر سمت رو برگانیزاتی است خب آن هم شد خوشی آکم در اتوم ویریکا است شد که از پسی وقت ما پر مزاج نیست نرم اتی خوب پرلیم. What was the problem of not reaching some kind of result because as he mentioned there were some kind of advocacy campaigns for instance it matters for you or about must carry uh, when uh, there was a consolidation of NGO sectors and they made government to make some changes. So it, it, This is again one of the reasons why we're meeting with the students and the civil society sector. What can we do during this honeymoon period between the government and civil society to correct this problem where the government answers to the demands of civil society. So you're absolutely correct. There is a still, there hasn't, we haven't figured out a way of how NGOs the relationship between NGOs and government was still that's still problematic, that's still a challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
და რესურსებით მოითხოვენ გარკვეულ შედეგებს. What is the current discussion about this kind of relationship? It should be angels uh, giving government some kind of different ideas or as a consolidation they should prepare something and give it to uh, government something. Well the one thing that we're trying to do is make sure that the angels have concrete ideas and concrete proposals. Uh, NGOs are experts in their respective field, or so they say they are. So for every single policy that they ask for, whatever advocacy campaign that they're pushing for, they have to understand how the government works and how much money is available in the budget. Mm. It's not a matter of just coming out and screaming, this is wrong, and then saying, I've done my job and walking away as an NGO. They should still offer some alternatives. Absolutely. They have, that, that, that's why they, they're receiving money. NGOs in Georgia and everywhere else, but in, in Georgia, they receive money from my program because they said to us that we can help Georgian society. That means they receive the money in the name of the Georgian society. And you as a journalist or as a citizen have the right to ask that NGO and say, how did you spend that money that you received from Yumi Jipa? And this is one of the major problems in Georgia. Neither the media nor the public ever asked, asked the NGOs to be accountable. Mm -hmm. uh, in your opinion, how could the media get this uh, answers from the NGO? And if we had this, this kind of situation, we asked, what was the answer from NGO? I can tell you what we did for my project. In the beginning, we started holding press conferences each time we awarded a grant. Not to say, look how great Yumi Jipak is, mm -hmm. but rather to explain the amount of money that was given to X organization and for what they promised to do. And we let it known to all our grantees that if the public or the, or the media ask mm. for the information, you are obligated to provide it. In fact, I took it a step further. Mm -hmm. A few months ago, I toured all around Georgia. Mm -hmm. And I gave the Georgian people my two-year annual report about where I spent the money, what worked and what didn't work. Um, we have to begin this culture of you have the right to know. Mm. 
Ano, verga vida, tu kai ne projekte bi raga chede ke bi zian. Ramdena tu kama kupili kada nu kama kupilo im projekte bi da krante bi drama lica kamdu kama kurtsi alda. Tera chi khe baze vi sajaro ba sak sain tere se ti ki dar tino metu cha mes mi orne tili eshe ki tu kuis. Islam ber organize cha ke de baze va krante, chunu chitra ma taqun ga kupili krante bi da. Magram sa se kade ba arabi chhar tuli ase mi diya chhar arabi chhar tuli am proces. Shis na varu chun kama kurtsi alda agat projekte bi angari eshe ki tu arudu gine tamit agat projekte srul de ba. Um, the first part of the question is, uh, are we satisfied with the results we have so far? And the second part of the question is uh, that media and society is not involved in the projects NGO implement, um, and uh, uh, they just implement the project and go home. They, there is no... Let me take the last question first, which is an easy answer. Yes. The last question is, in fact, the NGOs report to the donors. As long as they think that they keep the donor happy, they'll get more money. When a day comes when they have to depend on the funding from the people, then I promise you they to start reporting to the people. As far as have we been satisfied with their work? We actually have been very satisfied, especially with the organizations in the regions. They were able to bring clean water to people. They were able to get the pensions to the right people. But we have not been satisfied in the way that they actually communicate with the general public. And, and the other part is, I hate to see it so critical, but in fact there is a lack of expertise among the NGOs in certain issues. In particular regarding education, which is a major issue here in Georgia. Which project we implemented in a Jara region? Which Oh God, I, I, you put me in a situation now. After we awarded over uh, 140 grants. I can tell yes, two projects. Uh, that's my or the RTR is like immigrant. There is problem in Tanda Kashabit, Ramos at Portugal, Yahoo CLFs. RT grant economy, Matulevit Katamule has worked with us through the Shem de Gauze. They say I'm Temes, I'm Temes, Mushal Ben, Maram Tiana Jara Shibok of Sanabat Hodeswa. Uh, <laughs> 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 This is a social project. The, the, to, to a large extent, the word advocacy is still uh, has a limited definition here in Georgia. Mm -hmm. When you mention advocacy in the way it's in translated into Georgian, it's, it, it, it inspires most people to apply for social assistance or social kind of program. 
So if you, if you notice, I try in a conversation not to use the word advocacy. But we try to say, look at the issues that matter the most to your community. Ara problemi bi zalen bevri amaga migi migrantebis temas ro daubrundot khoe me ram interesebs ipatoni pronis mosazreba chun vitit ro are zalen bevri ekomigrantebs ro am khoe zalen problemuri regioni achara da atesobit ekomigranti khoe vs regioni shi es problema arsebs khoe tsalabis gamolobeshi isini khoe tsalaza zamarchoneb shemnek atare chenobashi shevich shevichernen ro daekavebenen chenoba an matvis araferi ar shesilo realuret da tsabuli kida ro sakamdeblo bazetis ekomigranti statusis gansatsro ar momkhtara arts puli ar miutsiat ar sakhli ar miutsiat anu realuret this we see how to do more but it's a lot to do more but she can come back to do more but she is not at least I suppose we don't do such a lot and down the shed shed the bottom should cause she had some terrible circles and cargis to be some colleagues of the code but I shed the bottom we give them to come over back I'm a problem I think I was a project to hold the bottom regarding our project about eco migration this problem is still very 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 active and in spite of the project implemented this problem the problem is still um, still uh, occurring and uh, the question is what could have uh, done by NGO sector in a different way to uh, ma to make sure that this problem will be solved because uh, they s there is still no definition of the migrants on right. a legislative level right. uh, so the, the answer is actually very simple um, it, it's, and in fact, your government is responsible for these issues. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I it is. Well, the thing is, I mean, the the NGO who takes this issue on as an advocacy or policy issue. They can't take it as a one shot or a one try uh, kind of program. It's a long-term commitment. It's about obviously trying to get the government to put more money into that program, into resolving this issue. It's about educating the public about it. It's about educating the businesses. Most NGOs here run a campaign, a project. They go there and say, I met with the government. I told them this is what the problem is. This is what you need to do. And my job is done. Thank you. When should NGOs will be finished? Like you said, go to the government, say what to do, and then what? What next step should the government, I mean, NGO sector, make not to, to to ensure that this problem will be solved? In, in order to change something in government, any government in the world. You have to be very persistent. You have to be very patient. You have to be an expert, become an expert in the, in the field. Mm -hmm. Know how to use the media. Wait for your chance, any chance you get to get inside to make your, your, your mm -hmm. case in the government uh, outside. Meaning, it's it, it, it's a lifetime a, 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 a career that you have to make out of this. So, but here, for the most part, they just seem to go from 
let me get money for this project. I'll try it. And if it doesn't work, I'll go for another different project and a different idea. You have NGOs in Georgia that are experts in planting flowers? to developing policies of how Georgia can enter the European Union. management is smart What is the issue regarding education? You, 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 education in, in, in general? I don't know what I'm saying. 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 I I, I'm not an educational expert first. Let me just give you what the studies have been. By your organizations, your NGOs and think tanks have conducted the following studies. There was a study conducted uh, a few months ago that was completed on how much money is spent on private tutoring. A very conservative number, very conservative number is approximately 100 million U.S. dollars spent by Georgian citizens to provide private tutoring to their children. when we have the problems, uh, what are, why, why these problems occur in the NGO sector? What is the weakest uh, circle? It's persistency, expertise, or what is the weakest? And communication, and media sector. Communication, like non communicating with media sector, what's the main problem? One of the major problems that we face in Georgia is there's a lot of money for NGOs. A very conservative number again is approximately 26 million dollars in grants alone are available for Georgian NGOs. Has uh, approximately 1.2 million dollars a year. Trans organizations have a million or a If you took a list of all the NGOs, it's almost the same 25, 30 NGOs that are receiving money here in Georgia. And if we push them or demand too much from them. They would say, oh, I don't want to work with you. I'll just take the money over there. I will, I will take the money from another organization. So, in fact, to some extent, we donors are responsible for this. But to be honest with you, you, the media, are just as responsible as we are. For not demanding much more from the NGO sector. 
خرا چه قوتو سامت شکت خب زارو سی شده با تو پرومتیس مت خونه چه لبا کارگی تا تا اون کاری چه اتلاف بس میگه بس پروتکشن سعی ترس را فرم بس خدا بس پاتون پروند کن کافر بس خدا ترو و چه لب کو متی ادامه این رو چه ایفتا سعی کاری چه اتلاف بس میگه بس پروتکشن How you see how uh, regarding the involvement of more people in decision making process? You mean the NGO is getting involved much more with the government decision making process? Ah, ano, ala sa mga tao ba yung mga chatula bilang sa kalisipodan yes, regarding. Mm. Th- there's a positive and negative to that. I suppose that the better work of the aspect that we are trying to push. The positive it looks fantastic that everybody's involved in decision. That the better is this from all the chatula is from all the people who are involved in the decision making. And I get, if that happens, I guarantee you the government will never make a decision. تو اس مختا گاز لو تیمیس گارانتی است رو تا رو بار اساسا ولی میگه گاز ات خودی لب. Because it's going to be sitting there waiting and giving coffee to everybody every day. در همیشه نیو برای در اول دبیان تیتان ایدپس دبیان اساسا ولی گاز ات بدن. And this is why we met with the NGOs here and why we will meet with the other NGOs in the other cities. از ارزم تو شک تو چنان است که برای گانزاتی است اگر تو شک بود خارج گیان بشه. Trying to get them to prioritize the issues to bring to the government. رام مختص این سطح که بیش کمتر ارائه پریورت داده بیش میخواد بیت رام میلیس در سال سخت وال بوده. It could be five, it could be seven, it could be three issues, but they have to be very concrete issues so they can present to the government. And the issues should be not only saying this is the problem, but also offering concrete solutions. The problem is that the problem is that the problem is that the problem is that the And it's amazing because, as I said in the beginning of our discussion, it's the government who's reaching out to the society sector and asking them for help. Uh, <laughs> خواهد داشت. ایکو سالبا ارسال تربیت سرگذشت. آسیتی تیپیستانم شما بسه. که بیاید دیما لبای کلامیس رو که دیتیم میشته کلامیس شنبه کلام دیمیت چی داغ بو